What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to transfer applications from an old Mac to a new Mac, or just from one Mac to another. Let's say that you've got a friend, he's got an application you want on your Mac, and you wanna transfer it over, well, this is how you do it. Now, you might've tried this already using AirDrop, and that can be handy for certain applications and files, they'll work, however, you'll get mixed results. If the application is too large or it just doesn't properly copy, it's not going to work for you. So this is a much more reliable method because AirDrop is kind of notorious in my experience for dropping out a couple hundred megabytes in. If your files are large, they're never gonna work. So here's how you transfer files and applications really easily and simply, all right? First off, you're going to open both of your Macs and open up a new Finder window. And do the same thing on this one. And then from there, you're going to hit Command Spacebar on the Mac you're transferring from and open up file sharing. Now, depending on your Mac, you might have to type sharing, you might have to type file sharing, or you can just open up system preferences. And once you've got system preferences open, you'll be able to find sharing right down in here somewhere. So just type sharing in there, select sharing, and here we go, life is beautiful. Now, the next thing we're gonna need to do is do that on the other Mac. So we're gonna transfer over to our other Mac here, and do the same thing, command spacebar, and type in sharing. And as you can see with this particular Mac, that's not working. So all we have to do is select the folder one down. Now we've got that dialog up. It's gonna be really simple. We need to make sure that we check file sharing. That box has to be set to on, on both of your devices, okay? So we're gonna make sure that both of those are on. And then you're going to go down to this shared folders panel on the Mac you're transferring to. So in this case, I'm putting the application from my iMac onto my MacBook Pro. So I'm going to go over to my MacBook Pro. I'm gonna hit plus and I've already done it, but you're going to select the applications folder right here and hit add. When you do that, you're gonna see that there's an applications folder listed under your shared folders. Pretty easy so far, right? Okay, now here's the last part to this whole process. You're gonna go back to that finder window you opened up on the computer you're transferring from. You're going to open up the application folder and we're gonna grab whatever application you wanna transfer. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's grab Handbrake because it's kinda of small, it's not gonna take that long. This is gonna be a little time consuming, so you do need a little time depending on how large the file is. So you're just gonna go over on the computer you're transferring from and grab another Finder window. Scroll down and on the left here, you can see you've got locations. So you've got this iMac, the hard drive in this iMac, and then down here, Ryan's MacBook Pro is showing up. If that's not actually happening for you, if the other computer isn't showing up, you need to make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi connection and that that computer has file sharing on. And then we're going to go down to network and you can see that it's also listed under network. So if it doesn't show up by itself under locations, go into your network settings, select that computer. And if we double click, hello, if we double click, you should see now we've got all of these shared folders within my MacBook Pro that I'm accessing from my iMac. So now I could grab applications from in here, transfer them onto this iMac, or I can do the exact opposite, grab an application from my iMac, in this case, Handbrake, and transfer it over onto my MacBook Pro. So I just clicked and dragged it over, and now you can see that it's going to start copying. Now I'm already actually in the middle of transferring Premiere Pro over from this iMac to this MacBook Pro. So I don't know how fast this is gonna be. I know that with Premiere, with this particular application, it's four gigabytes. And so it's taken at this point about 20 minutes to transfer. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit, but it's pretty easy after that. So let me show you an application I already transferred over, which was ScreenFlow. If I go into my MacBook Pro, go over to my applications folder, you can see that We've got Premiere Pro up here at the top. It's grayed out because it's still transferring. Handbrake should be in here as well, yeah. Grayed out, still transferring. And then ScreenFlow, which is what I transferred just before I started this tutorial. I can double click on that. I don't have to install anything. I don't have to add anything. I don't have to enable anything. It's just already on my computer and installed and perfect. So that is the advantage of this method. It just transfers it over and life is good. You're good to go and use your application as normal. So hopefully this was helpful. If you do have bulk programs to transfer all at once, you can either be patient and transfer three or four like this method, or you can open up Migration Assistant. So you're gonna hit Command Spacebar on your Mac, type in Migration Assistant, and it's gonna be pretty much the exact same thing, except for it's the kind of more user-friendly version that Mac is built into OS when you start up a new computer and it says, do you wanna transfer files from another Mac? You just hit yes. And then your other Mac that you're transferring from, you open Migration Assistant, and you're gonna select transfer files from this Mac. 
And so it's the exact same thing. You're going to select which files you want to transfer over and bada bing, bada boom, life will be easy and simple for you. So at this point, I heard a little ding and handbrake has transferred over. So let's go up here and it should be right there. Again, notice it's no longer grayed out. I can double click it. And of course, we're going to need to install Rosetta because this is an M1 Mac and I was transferring from a non M1 machine. So, okay, I'm going to install Rosetta. It's going to download that update and then I'll be able to launch Handbrake. So of course, it's always going to be easier if you're transferring applications from one Mac to another that are very similar, both M1 Macs, both running the same OS. You're going to have a higher likelihood of success, but otherwise, this should be pretty easy and simple and should work regardless. So you can see Handbrake is starting up. It's thinking, and there you go. We've got Handbrake on our Mac. We didn't have to install it. We just dragged it over using the file sharing method. So if this was helpful, do me a favor. Can you hit that like button and subscribe? Leave a comment below. Did this work for you? Did it not work to you? work for you. <laughs> I'll try to answer any questions that you have. And we can just kind of keep track. Does it work consistently with every app? I'm not sure. I've transferred a few apps at this point, and I know that it does work with everything I've tried. But let's have a conversation and just see if we can help each other out. All right, internet. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.